Hey, good morning, people. How are you all doing? I am planning to do two reviews back to back. I'll be doing one by one, not two videos in one or two reviews rather in one video uh, because I want to make this particular one in a separate video than the next one. So let's see, I haven't decided yet which one I'm going to do, but I'll do back to back, right? So yeah, uh, today I told you I shared a bad news like uh, many of you know already through the video, last video that uh, I got kind of like, you know, like what you call blocked by Facebook for three days. It was kind of like my own fault uh, because I get eccentric and I get, you know, if you hear some, if you read some depressing news or upsetting news where, you know, wrongdoings are happening, you sometimes get angry. But, you know, we don't live in an idealistic world. <laughs> so we have to live in a more of a, what you call a proper, you know, diplomatic world where people have to be fair and then, you know, you have to use Okay, yeah, that sounds wrong that I'm saying it like that. <laughs> anyway, so fragrance I am planning to review for you today is uh, fragrance thanks to Ammar Bhai, uh, my dear brother Ammar. He's good member, good fellow in the fragrance community. He loves his woods, right? So he is very young in age, but he has very mature nose and he seeks for wood-based fragrance. So he got this fragrance right here. It's called, uh, the name is, the house is called Arabian Wood. And it's called, it's from the Majestic line. I'll show you the presentation in a bit. And the name is Special Wood. Okay, it's a huge presentation. This box, I'll show you, I'll open it up, I'll show it to you. And uh, he asked me, I actually asked if I can review this, right? So thanks Amar Bhai, this video is for you. So Arabian Wood House, I didn't experience so many of their fragrances, but I tried three or four. Every single fragrance that I tried, I was really blown away by the quality because they put raw ingredients, very high class, and uh, their fragrances smell posh. And if you're lover of oud, the fragrances oud is done really fantastic, okay? So let's look into this. Uh, so they also have in this line, uh, uh, there are total four, okay? So the one we will be looking at is called Majestic uh, Special Oud. So they also have, first one is called Majestic, second one is called Udi, and the third one is called Platinum. I haven't tried them, so I cannot review. And these are made in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we'll talk about the notes after I show you the presentation. He bought this during his, uh, I think, uh, stay in Makkah. Most probably during he went for Umrah, uh, for Hajj. So this is how it comes. Huge, huge box. It's like a, bigger than a book. See the size of that, okay? So it comes with a ribbon. You take it out like that. It reveals the name. Uh, it's called Majestic Special Oud. And this is 100 ml. They have the logo right here. And this is actually a button. Uh, it's just like a, it's closed here. I'm not quite sure it's called, it says perfume natural spray. So I'm guessing this EDP or really strong concentration. I have it on my hand, very strong. And uh, it's side, it has some design going on, beautiful presentation, really stunning. Here at the side, up there, detailing everywhere. At the back, you see the sticker of, I think the prices written here, different currency. And uh, I think some more information is made in KSA, uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And uh, they put, some information ingredients and stuff like that okay so very nice okay let me open this the bottle is not inside bottle is separate I'll, I'll tell you why I didn't put it here because it's extremely dis risky to open it like that so yeah it's like that the button you open it it reveals this beautiful box so it's very <laughs> cumbersome but anyway I'll try so open it like that okay this is the biggest box probably I have dealt with so far it's kind of challenging so inside is that beautiful leather box okay so leather box, let me take it out and so I can show you. This is like a jewelry box and this is very, very posh. This is leather, real leather. See that? Just the same uh, information in the shape of the bottle, I believe. Very nice design, it's a special oud, okay? It says the Arabian oud, design is like that, okay? Back like that. And you open it, I think this is kind of not magnetic, but it's just nice fit. So the bottle stays in there. That is the coffin for the bottle and inside their logo. So yeah, I'm taking the trouble because sometimes presentations matter. And the bottle, there's a reason I took it out, the cap and bottle separately. This is how that comes, okay? This is the cap. This is at least, like this is the heaviest cap I ever encountered in my life. This is all metal. And if you hear, if it drops from two to three floors on your head, you are done. <laughs> Okay, inside they have the name Arabian Oud and this is the bottle. It almost looks like many of you will say it looks like Invictus bottle. I'll just show you a demonstration. Many of you will say it might look like an Invictus bottle without the cap, right? 
and yeah it looks kind of like that it looks like a trophy but i think this is much more premium and it has a black kind of bottle but it's not entirely opaque you can see the juice level if you turn it okay it's not entirely opaque and <clears throat> it has this golden surroundings you can hold it like that like a trophy the atomizer has uh, like here they have detailing of the house and the, uh, the sprayer is there so majestic special wool that's it so the reason why I took them separately because there's an issue with the cap if you see this this golden part check out this magic trick take it out boom gone where did it go damn inside <laughs> I don't think it's in every bottle it's just one bottle it just gets stuck right so I, I wanted to show you that one right but when you put it together it looks really beautiful heavy heavy presentation and the bottle very heavy inside like that okay so let's talk about this fragrance okay this is a beautiful presentation took half the time for showing you the presentation so this fragrance i think this is extremely expensive it's i forgot how much he said this was but i think this is one of the most expensive fragrances in the old genre and uh, it's the note mentioned in fragrantica it's just agarud so imagine that how difficult it is for people to like just oud okay but i also picked up when I sprayed for the first time, I pick up hint of just a very faint hint of citrus to my nose, but it's not even like a note. I wouldn't say it's like a note. Like I'll show you a few examples next. But and this one has very small number of notes, but very high quality ingredients. If you are a fan of oud, okay, uh, you need to try this. You need to get a sample of this, and maybe the rest of the line is also worth it. I'll look into them. So this is pure wood, this is pure joy, this is pure quality, no bullshit, no uh, syntheticness, there's no nothing artificial about it, there's nothing that smells like wood but not the real thing, this is the real thing, this is the real deal if you're looking for wood. Who is it going to appeal to? People who love wood. If you do not love wood, okay, O-U-D, wood, you may not understand the concept of it. Very dark, very gorgeous, extremely beast mode fragrance but extremely beautiful as well. So the notes I also pick up from this after that hint of citrus is purely these are my nose picking up cloves and pepper little bit peppery kick and some of bit spicy element like cloves give you that sort of like a spicy uh, kick to it I'll show you a Mansara fragrance just now okay and then it follows by agarud the what follows is agarud like a real agarud you can smell it so dark so rich so opulent it's almost like milky imagine like a black milk <laughs> if it could be a black milk it's like that milky Oh man, more I more sniff it, I just get amused by it. It's like bergamot, it definitely, it's not citrus. It's like bergamot, clove, spices opening. And then it starts going to the uh, agarud and then the type rose starts coming in. I think type rose was used in more than words by uh, Zhirjov. Yeah, more than words by Killian, sorry. Or, I always get confused between these two houses. Okay, more than words, that fragrance, okay. They use type rose and musk, okay. So those are the notes at the base. So at first, spices, kind of bergamoty, and how many sprays, you don't have to go heavy with it. But if you really want to project, I would say go three. Three sprays will be good. One on your back of your neck, okay, and one on each side of the hand or one on your shirt. That will project for half the day, okay. On the shirt, it will last for days. So the quality is there in terms of quality. It's not alcoholy. It's not watery. You wear this, you wear this for the full day, okay. Um, who is going to appeal to? This is going to be uh, people who live in colder countries. You have a lot of uh, cold weathers and Arabian countries because countries like UAE, Saudi, if you're living in the desert, I think there's going to be daytime is very hot, nighttime is going to be very, very chilly and then, you know, windy. If you're wearing jubba and stuff, going for prayers, something holy, this is a fragrance to wear. It's going to be definitely for mature noses, mature crowd. I would say 30 and up. But... Amar Bhai is what, barely 20, he loves this. So you have to have match your nose. You really have to have the love for wood. I have uh, tried uh, MFK house wood. They are much more modernized. They don't have that uh, animalic instinct, that rawness of wood. Uh, this one sort of give me that. But I'll show you, let me show you some more now. Uh, I have not, I'm not saying these are si same, but I love them because of the darkness. This is go black prestigium, okay? This. It's one of my darkest, longest lasting, and most uh, premium wood fragrance. Okay, this one I really love from Ansera. Most people do not like it. And then I will say similar to that would be Black to Black. Has the beautiful, um, like the cloves, 
rose going on, a lot of bergamot going on. Very playful. This is one of my jammy rose, very, ah, yeah. <laughs> so this is a little bit more playful, a little bit more flirtatious, but just getting some idea. Then I would say the quality wise, the Borouge line, the uh, Astra Indonesia up there, but much more cleaner and less aggro, less dark. And Fakad Lil Rijal, this one is a gem, cheap gem, okay? You smell it, you know, like if you like the wood to stink, good, Fakat Lil Rijal. So if you love those fragrances, okay, I have plenty more, I'm just showing you the four. You can think of this as like an upgrade or something, okay? This is one of the most uh, posh fragrances in terms of wood as an ingredient, okay? Uh, this is, this smells like a fragrance fit for the kings, okay? I'm not gonna judge this based on the smell, whatever. It's just a stunning masterpiece. It's a piece of art, okay? You see this in your shelf and you just stare at it for some time. That beautiful. The whole presentation is beautiful. It's worth keeping it in the collection. So yeah, check it out. This is called Arabian Oud Majestic Special Oud made in Saudi Arabia. Beautiful fragrance. I really enjoy it and it starts off really strong but it starts getting mellow with time and you just really enjoy the Thai rose a lot. Okay, so if you love rose and oud combo, this is one of the best you can get in the market. Check this out. Special oud by Arabian oud from the Majestic line. This is perfection in a bottle. Amazing everywhere. Uh, time for the next review. Bye-bye.